Hey guys, welcome to episode 42. So, I struggled with lighting this morning. Um, the seasons have changed. Uh, winter has different lighting from summer. I've been doing the videos outside during summer and the lighting was okay. So now there's more shadows and all that. So, yeah, I hope you can see me clearly and hear me clearly this morning. So, um, today I said um, we'll discuss from chapter 10 of the book the book let me show you the book money and black people so i said we are going to discuss um how to make money without money so that's what we're discussing chapter 10 how to make money without money why are we discussing this just explain a little bit why are we discussing such so obviously because it's in the book but that's not the only reason. Now, um, a lot of people have asked me the question, um, when you say you can make money without money, what do you see? What do you, what do you mean? What, what, where does that come from? And how can one do that? And I think um, the, the real um, issue is how do you do that? Because if you can do that, then voila, like you have life and everything else. If you can understand how to make money without money, you have everything. Because currently at this moment, you're probably saying, you, don't, you know what, I don't have money, but I do want to have money. So there is a solution. You can make money without using money. And obviously, like in the book, I'll tell you how to get the book and all that, but... Um, in the book, I do explain that. How did we get to be living and actually knowing that we need money to make money? That is a trap that we were taught. We were really, really um, made to believe that we needed we need money to make money. So um, that's what we're discussing today on episode 42. So if you miss some of the episode, check on my YouTube channel check all the other episodes and all the other great stuff that we talk about so before we continue on this amazing topic we're gonna have a great time today guys i hope our time is not gonna be yeah we have about 30 minutes so that's great so before we continue this weekend uh we are having a seminar money 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 master class um at 10 in Pretoria so the venue has changed I'm just going to post the new venue it's in Lanewood um, you don't you know if you you've, you've already done your recipe you don't have to worry I'll, I'll it will be emailed to you if you still want to join uh, us on Saturday and you have an RSVP do that send an email or an inbox or send us a whatsapp and RSVP for Saturday is going to be great we're talking about allowing money allowing money to be part of your life because actually the reason why you don't have money is because money is not allowed in your life you have been taught so much about how to reject money in your life that you don't even know that you're doing it so so that's the thing when you don't even know that i'm rejecting money but you actually are and you're rejecting money but you're saying i want it so we're going to be talking about that how do you know that you're rejecting money how do you know that you are not connecting with money in the right way where you can have all the money you want so that's what's happening this saturday and also a whole lot of other events that i'm going to be speaking at this weekend and also we are going to be starting with our skills course on the 17th of june i think i'm not sure the date but it's happening this coming this june so if you have not registered please make sure that you register because we're getting a whole lot of registrations and we might run out of space so make sure that if you want to join in on the skills course that's starting on the middle of june you register in time the skill course is all about so the skills course is called how to make money how to use your unused skills to make money so your unused skills are the skills that the universe gave you when you arrived here to be able to take care of yourself so when you are not using don't boy don't don't open don't open so if you are not using these skills correctly or fully 
normally what happens is that you do a lot you do more than what is what you're supposed to be doing so you find yourself working harder you, you find yourself uh, doing uh, things that you're not happy doing but it's because you probably are not doing what you are supposed to be here to do so when you are doing what you're supposed to be here to do money and resources come natural to you now another thing is that we also been taught that what we love what feels good to us is just hobbies so you can't make money from this you can't make money from um something that is just you just do it so easily and it just comes so natural to you you need a real job to have money so we've been taught about the real job thing not that you can't use your skills your easy to use skills in an environment where is a job where you actually wake up to go to a job where you feel like you're going to work uh, you're going to play while you're going to work so i mean like soccer stars soccer stars go to work also but they are there to play and it's more enjoyable to them than anything else like they need to play they want to play on a daily basis and that's their job so doesn't mean that you need to start a business you can't be going to a job that feels okay that you want to go to that you definitely think oh, when is monday when am i going back to this job that i love so much and there is that it happens it happens to people who are i think um fortunate to have found that and mostly people go to jobs that they do not enjoy not because um they have to but just because they do not know what else to do like they don't have the information on what skills are they best at and all that so the course is it's all about that finding your primary core skill that you don't have to have a degree to do it at the best of your abilities not that you need any other training or experience or this and this but this is a skill that you just wake up in the morning and you are it it just it's that natural to you so that is what we are doing in the skills course so join in so if you would like to know how to then make the skill make you money then that's what we're doing so you will go through a whole business setup plan it's not the MBA type of business plan where you go only just focus on your on your on your theory and in your actions but we focus more on the energy that you want to portray with the skill because the thing is this a lot of times when we start businesses we actually worry the most about marketing the business so how who's gonna buy from me how are they gonna buy from me how am I gonna get them to know about me how and then you focus on selling 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 because obviously a business is sales if you don't have sales you don't have a business but then the thing is this some most of the times then you your focus shifts from the business to selling and you find yourself worried day in day out about who is buying who is gonna buy how much money am i making and you no longer focus on the skill that you're actually providing so when you have set up your energy correctly you don't have to actively or put all your energy in marketing a business when you have done the correct base for your energy people who are wanting your service because when you do when you start a business it's you want to solve a problem for someone so you 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 starting a business because someone needs a better cake someone needs um whatever that they need so you start that business to provide that service so people who have that need in their lives they will find you because you are actually opening open to help them you know just doing this because it's another way for you to make money you are actually providing the service because you are brought in this universe to provide the service we all need each other i do what i do but i need someone who can build me a house someone who can build me a car someone who can build me a road someone who can because i i mean i i only like the whole body has a whole lot of organs the eye just does what the eye does the nose does what the nose does the mouth does what the, the mouth does the legs the the, the the hands but um the hands cannot function on the on their own um the eyes are very important they might be so small but they are very important and they do its own job so we are supposed to understand that and the eye does not struggle you know with its job it's all natural 
Okay, so join in on the course and um, you can do that on email, send an email, com or send me an inbox or a WhatsApp or yeah, whichever way that works for you. And if you need the book, also send an email, com or it's on Kindle and, and Amazon.com and you can also send an inbox and order the book. And well, in some of the events that I'm at this Saturday, it will be available on sale. And then there's a whole lot of other places that has the book around the country. So if you are somewhere where it's, you would like to know if there's someone ha that has the books that are selling the books in your area, so just send an inbox, also an email will let you know who can help you find the book. So let's talk about what we need to talk about today. How to make money without money. Okay. So, the past three days of my life, so that's Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, I have had the most, um, the most enlightening, enlightening three days of my life since a long time. And I, I wouldn't bore you with the whole story, but um, what I learned, I just, I, I want to share with you what I learned. So I obviously I do a whole lot of work helping people to recognize their value to because we are not um, struggling in life or not having the things we want because we it's not the right time or we're not the greatest of people or we don't know what we're doing or we don't have the skills or we don't have the knowledge. Even if you have never gone to school, you know exactly what's going on here. You you were you were brought here with the same conscious as everybody else. So you know exactly what's going on. But the issue is that we don't have now, we've lost our sense of value. So when we do not know how valuable we are, we don't understand that the universe is supporting us at every step of our life. So if the universe is supporting us at every step of our life, there is not one day where we're supposed to go through any struggle in life because we support it. I mean, if you look at a tree outside, I've got a whole lot of trees in my yard. And because I love trees and just trees present to me that stableness, that that, that I'm here and I'm always going to be here and I'm just amazing and it doesn't matter if it's winter or, 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 or summer it, I'm just here and I stand so look at trees trees don't ever have stress about where's the water gonna come from where's the wind gonna come from where's they are always provided we are that we 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 are part of them we're supposed to be functioning like that. We're supposed to be waking up in the morning and be saying, what can I do today? How can I improve this universe that I'm in? How can I, how can I help someone? How can I impact another person's life? Because you know what? I am here to share me with this universe. So I learned this week that you know what? Sometimes um, we can look at somebody's life and think, you know what, you're having the worst of, li of a life. And um, maybe it's because you're not doing this, you're not doing this, you don't have that, you, this, 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 this. And then we, we sort of look at them and we know that their life is not great. And then we actually can see what is wrong with their lives. So, and I, I, I mean, I've, I've been sharing some of the things and I've been saying, you know, I've got so much respect for people who wake up in the morning every day, go to a job they don't like at all and be there for eight hours and, and leave at five feeling like they've been hit by bars, get home only just to sleep and wake up the next day and go back there. And um, I mean, for me, I, I once lived that life and I, I, I did not live it for long because I just couldn't take it. But today, I don't live that life. But in the past three days, I was in an environment where, with people that lived that life. And it was such a, an eye-opening experience for me because I, first, I thought, oh, God, no, but why would you do this to yourself? Why would you do this to yourself, you know? Why would you just not stop this? Why would you just not, not get out of this? I mean, this is wrong. I mean, you can feel this is wrong. You know this is wrong. You don't want to do this. Why are you doing this? But then I understand that when also I was living that life, it there was no way out because 
everything that I was taught in life was about this life. I was taught that you, you needed to get a job, and I did that. I got a job. You needed to get education and get a job. I did that. You needed to um, have a house, a car, and this and this, and you are definitely going to get your house through a bank somewhere, get your house, get your car through a bank somewhere, get whatever that you need to get through some type of um, credit, and then now that you are in credit, sorry, this is going to happen to you for the next uh, 25 years and you just need to keep up with it so now be a good girl and get on with the program this is how life is going to be that is how that is what I was taught so and after that I was just thrown into this um, pool where I, I, I just needed to find myself and sometimes you you what I've seen is that you try to swim out of this pool for so long that you actually get tired and you just think maybe this is how things are supposed to be. But the thing is that you have been taught so many other things that are supposed to be what life's supposed to be and you can't come out of that because that is how life is like. And obviously, your subconscious mind, your being, your consciousness, your, 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 your higher self keeps saying, this is not right. This is not who you are. Life was never supposed to be like this. This is not how you're supposed to be living. You hear that voice. You hear that longing. You hear that desire. But what you've been taught, what your environment is giving you is totally different from that voice. And obviously that voice never stops saying this. But then you just learn to live with ignoring it you just learn to just keep ignoring it just keep ignoring it a little bit more so this week i actually understood that you know what it's not because you people love to not have money because when you have money you can choose what you want to do with your life you know when you when you don't owe anyone like like you wake up in the morning you know i don't owe anybody like that is the greatest feeling guys like you don't owe nothing to anybody so it's not because people don't want to get out of this life that is not what they want it's because we do not have the tools to come out and it's not because it's the capital we need to start the business it's not because it's the education we need to have to have a, 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 a document to submit to get the, the best job. It's not because we need a skill. Because we know we've been given skills. The universe gave us skills that we don't even need to be trained for. We, we, there's things that we know to do without anything. I, most of the time I coach a, a lot of people that, that want to... Um, to coach others because obviously my vibe is around helping other people so I, I have a lot of people other people that that follow me that I'm teaching that I'm coaching that are, are coaching other people so because of that you 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 know that this is what I've been given this is my skill but because I was taught that you know the stuff that comes easy to you the stuff that um, feels so good to you and is so easy to you it's not gonna make money so sorry so you could just be like coaching people and you'll be broke and I've seen coaches that are broke like there's so many coaches in this world that are totally broke but sometimes they just choose um, to, to continue coaching because it, it makes them feel so happy but they they, they just so broke because they, they, they are living that script in their subconscious mind that said you can't have money from doing what you love. So it's not because you need the 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 the, 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 the capital. You don't need the money and all the stuff to make money. But it's because you don't understand that your mind has been you have been thoroughly trained from the age of three years to stay in this thing until you die. You've been taught and it has been embedded in your subconscious mind. And your conscious mind keeps saying, you know what, actually I can do this. Actually, but then you start, it fails. You, you, you then see other people who have started and failed. You see other people who, who have great things that they want to do in life, but they never get to doing them. And then when you also try, it's just a lot of work. It's just a lot of, it, it just doesn't want to work out. So you then thought, think, think maybe 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 next time maybe i'll try again next year maybe this maybe that but 
I found out, and uh, this is because I was looking at this situation now from another eye, that it is not because people want to stay in these situations. It is just because people do not understand how much of this they have been taught that this is who they are, this is how they're supposed to live. So, and I saw that the one thing and the only thing is the value. When you are taught that you are valued two rand an hour and you accept that I am valued at two rand per hour, this company says to me I'm valued at two rand per hour, you are going to be a two rand per hour person. Not because you want to be a two rand per hour person, but because that is what you've been taught to accept. And it's not your fault that you're accepting it. That's the other thing. It's not your fault that you're accepting this. This life, you, it's not your fault. You have been taught to accept this life. Hence I say in my book that the few people who get out of this life, they can't actually most of the time even share how they got up because when they start sharing how they got out, you know, people that um, hear them, they're like, what? That does not sound right. No, man, what's wrong with you? You know, like it, it's even, it's even, it, it's very, 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 scary for for someone who ha, who has never had the, the 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 opportunity to hear something other than what they've been taught to actually think maybe i can try that so i in this past three days I've, i i learned that it is really not our fault that we stay in situations that we not we don't want to be in it's because we have been taught to stay there now the next step is now changing what we've been taught. So we need to first learn a whole lot of things so that we can learn a whole lot of new things. So sometimes, like in my case, starting a business without money or making money without money took a process of me first going through wanting to make money with money, failing at making money with money up to the point that i got sequestrated and got uh, bankrupt zero everything taken away from me like each and everything like i was left like that for me to realize no man but i was doing this i was using the same formula that i was taught that you need money to make money you need capital to start a business but then what what went wrong is it me like i i did all the work i put everything that i have into this so what happened oh guys sorry about the noise my kids just went on their break so they are homeschooled so they 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 just i should make my times not to <laughs> to 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 be linked with their break to do this live videos because then yeah they want to see their money during lunchtime so i then thought you know what let's discuss this let's discuss the fact that what is it that we need to unlearn about this getting into money so i took i i i went through a process of unlearning now because i found out that i tried to make money with money it didn't work got me into whole lot more troubles got me stressed it got me sick it got me bankrupt it got me with nothing with you know like when you bankrupt you are in real real trouble so I then, when I, I, I found out that this was actually wrong, because I've tried it so well and I can now prove that it's wrong, then I started a new process of finding, okay, there's another way apparently where you can start a business without money, where you can have the business that always has been said, you need capital for this one. There's no way you can do this without capital. And then when I started that process, then I learned that, oh, actually it's true. And then I started one and it worked and it's a multi-million rent business and it's good stores. It's going strong every day. And I did not have to put one cent of my money on anybody else's money. But what I had to do was to exercise my skill in a way where I believed that my skill can make me money. So you see that thing. I believed that my skill can make me money. And then the skill was then exercised or experienced by the universe, which is everybody else who, who received a service from me in a way of a business. So you don't even have to start a business. You don't even have to. So you could be in a job where your skill 
is manifesting a CEO position that gives you the money you want. Not because you have all the qualifications, not because you have all the degrees in this workplace, but because you understand your skill. That not in a technical way, but in a vibrational way that you are worth a whole lot more. Okay, so when I learned this new way, like I was saying, the unlearning had to take place. Unfortunately for me, it took took place in a in a in, a, in an experiment that wasn't that wasn't great. Hence, today I teach other people to not go through the bankruptcy and all this drama for you to finally get it. I I teach people to stop the bus from crashing. You know, like don't just not crash the bus. Let's just take the bus the right route. So that's why I do what I do. And actually, because of the fact that I do have the time to do this, then I can be able to do it. I mean, I know a lot of people that are, are so impactful, but they actually have so much to do. Like, they have an 8 to 5 job. They have a whole lot of stuff. They never get the chance to impact other people's stuff with what they know because they don't have the time. Unfortunately, I do have the time. I actually do have the time to do this. So I then do that. I am I'm, 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 I'm really all about trying to get the next person to unlearn something that is not serving them to learn something that is going to serve them so i then learned that it is only 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 if that i believe that my skill is so valuable to the world and this has nothing to do with what you have what you don't have hence capital is not part of this it has everything to do with the belief you have. So a lot of people say when I started my business, I I was um, I had to go into boardrooms where there was old white males. So when you live in South Africa and you hear the way the, the phrase old white males, you just have an idea of what's going on there. Someone who just does not want to hear. So so then by then I was a, a young black woman. That I just started business, just started one. I did not have any references. I didn't have anything to show them that I, I, I've done this somewhere. I, you know, I know some, something about this. It was my first, 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 first ever. And I actually I just learned it myself, like understood it better myself. And when I walked in there, at that time, I'm, I'm, I'm still so grateful that at that time, I actually did not know that white, um, old males were so cruel and you know i did not expect it when i walked into the boardrooms the way they looked at me the the the, the, the comments they said i was always like, what, are these people, what are these people referring to but then because luckily i say i was i was not knowing you know like now with all the social media back then there was not much social media also which is the good part of not having social media so i didn't know of the stories the horrible stories of what go what 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 of of all this all this um abuse in the corporate sector and so I was starting a new business. I I I I was I was very young. I mean I was so tiny. I and then I remember because I was in the safety space and I would sit with these um executives in uh, in the mining industry and all sorts of industries and i'll be telling them that i've got a solution for your safety i you know how you can you can stop killing people in your work sites and they will look at me and be like have you even ever been underground and i'll be like no no no, no i'm not even planning being underground but now what i've learned and the skills that i have of solving your solution i don't need, need to be underground that's the good thing about it you also actually can just do this without all the drama that you've been doing and putting these people through and obviously it was something totally new that i've never heard of so they thought okay okay fine let's listen girly you know make it quick and i'll be like okay thank you for letting me do this and i'll be quick and i did that over and over and they 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 practice what i was giving them because uh, most of the times i would just say to them try it out try it out if it works then just do it and they'll try it out and they'll be shocked at the results I um, promise you, I still have them on speed dial because they understand that I understand something they did not understand. So some of them have gone to study and uh, professors and they know so much theory. But I went and did so much case studies. I went outside the country. I, I went and studied the first world, how they fixing this problem. But I then knew that our culture will not be implemented in the same way as them because their culture is different. I'm in South Africa. We do things in a certain way. And I understood 
a South Africans think and I learned a little bit more about how a South Africans think and what South Africans prefer and I then made a solution that will take uh, take the result that the first world is getting which is the UK's and all that and make it a South African solution that will serve South African people and they were blown away every time and they and I invoiced them thoroughly nicely and they paid they did not care now it, I wasn't no longer black because I was helping them I was no longer um, um, someone they thought I, I don't know anything and then only now I found out that that was actually the most horrible thing that can ever happen to a human being. A young black female with a new business walking into a boardroom of all white male executives to tell them what to do. Like, I, I, like today I think about it, I'm like, what was I thinking? Because obviously I've learned through social media that that does not happen. That should not happen. <laughs> that is the most scariest thing ever. But at the time, I was pushed so much by my passion. I did not even see that. I did not even recognize that. And I don't, I'm not saying they, they, they opened their arms and were like, oh, please come. No, 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 definitely. They gave me so much drama. But I never looked at the drama. I never noticed the drama. I saw it, but I was like, oh, well, maybe they're just having a bad day. You know, <laughs> it's just a human being having a bad day. But then actually it was a real thing. So, and they actually invested in my business because they, inv they, they gave me business with just a concept. And because I was, I, I believed in this concept so much, I've done so much research on the concept and I was using my skill and understanding and, and finding out and looking at the mindset and doing all these things. They actually funded my business. So I didn't need to, to, to have a cent to implement this, this, um, this uh, solutions. They, they actually paid my invoices before I did work. That is how they, in, they, they, they invested in me. They were not doing it to, 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 to help me. They were not doing, oh, but you are a black girl. We, you know, we think you, we should give you, you should pay your invoices early. We should actually pay you before you work. No, 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 no. They were not doing that for me. They were doing it for themselves because they needed my solution. They needed my solution so much. They needed me to be there. They needed my advice so much that they were willing to pay for it before it was even in play. So... Did I need capital now? No. Did I? So they were paying me. And it, so it, I wasn't borrowing money from them. They were not taking a stake on my business. They were actually investing in my business without, without me losing anything. Because a lot of times when we go and look for monies and, and ask for capital, we have to give something. But when you understand your skills so well, you do not have to give anything because you are already giving you are already giving all of it so that is how i started a business without money because i understood but i understood that after had i had to unlearn a whole lot of things a whole lot of mind things so then i could then realize and recognize what I had to offer and when I was offering it people wanted it I did not have to market myself I did not have to 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 to, to convince them they they saw that they needed this I mean even in in with all this racism with all the we don't do that we were don't work with black people we don't do it, that was all now non-existent because they needed what I have and what I have was making them money so it was no longer a case of anything. So people are always saying, how do I beat the women pull each other down syndrome? How do I beat the racism? How do I beat the people who are not buying from my business? You beat all of that with one thing. You just take all of it in one thing and you throw it away very far when you understand your value. All of it. You don't have to go through each and every step. You just get all of it in one you, you know, you hit it with one fist at one time when you understand who you are and actually give what you have. But then you need to believe that when you use what you have, what you have is actually the best thing ever. Like you are the thing, you are the best thing ever. And um, for this job, for this skill, for this intervention, for this project, and you understand your value. So no one can tell you that you are worth this but it's not even about them telling you when you are at, they will come to you and offer you what you think you are. So when people offer you two rents, 
that's because you think you were two rand. That was they will offer you. When you think you were five rand, they will come through and offer you five rand. You don't even have to ask for it. Because people just, they they look at, every, we all look at each other and read each other's energy. We, I mean, psychology, psychology says that um, communication is what? It's 70% nonverbal and only 30% verbal. Even, I think, less than 30% verbal. What you say is actually not what you are saying. My energy now talking to you is mostly what you're hearing, not what I'm saying. So, yeah. How do you unlearn the stuff? I've got a whole lot of courses, a ton of courses. So one of them is the one I was telling you about earlier, the skills course. I've got a ton of courses, like a whole lot, how to get unstuck, how to increase your earning potential, how to, a whole lot of other courses that I've got that you could go through, depending on what you, what your current situation is. I've got a one on death, how to get rid of this dead vibe that you have, because if you have a dead vibe, you have a dead vibe and you could try anything and everything to pay off that debt. But if you have a dead vibe, it's just gonna be there. Once you key, yeah, your dead vibe, that debt will find its way out of your life. So things will happen that you will be like, what, I always knew this I could do. I always knew this is possible. Why didn't I ever do this to get rid of this debt? So, but when you have the debt life, you have it. So there's courses like that. And then there's also the one that's starting June. So you can get onto that one. Other than that, we also have free courses on the How to Manifest 100K group. So get in there, tap day one, get a course and do something about your man's mindset. Other than that, yeah, thank you guys. Share these videos, please do click on share, share with um, other uh, people and um, go to my YouTube channel, subscribe so that you can see videos that you haven't uh, gotten time to tune in during the live session so that you can see them when they're uploaded because I upload all of these into my YouTube channel so that you can catch them easy <laughs> in, a, in, a, in, a, in a more structured way. And yeah, share, share that channels, share this and send me an email tell me what's going on with your life tell me what um you're busy with tell me how your money story is tell me how if you've read the book what has changed so yeah send me an inbox send me an email i always get time to read them <laughs> i do and i will reply so thank you so much for tuning in if you have got any question about this video also send me an email that type in here i'll uh, reply and other than that, have a great, great day. Let me just see what you guys have been saying. I saw you've been typing, but I did not get time to read because I didn't want to forget what you needed to hear from me. Let me just read some of the things you said. Oh, so many highs. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. Oh, my goodness, so many highs. Hi, Kessa. Oh, my goodness. This amazing people. Okay, so Kessa says, I need to come collect my book. Long of a, you have not collected your book till today. Oh my goodness, this child. Okay, so come collect your book. V says, I'm listening. Thank you v, for tuning in. Cindy, hi. Hi, we'll see. Hi, Cindy. Um, oh, this is so great. Irene, hello. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. So many highs. No, Sipo says, hi, pussy. I love your makeup. Oh my goodness. Thank you, babes. Thank you, babes. I try. I try to flick my... <laughs> I try. Like, I try. Shulani, <laughs> uh, hello. Bongaka says, do you still have a book special? Oh, Bongaka, there isn't one now, but there is a good one coming for Father's Day in June. I don't know what when Father's Day is, but we're going to have a special for Father's Day, like a real good special for Father's Day. So if you have a father, if you have a brother, if you have a whoever that is needing a book because they're a man, definitely we have a whole chapter on that. Chapter what? What is that chapter? Money and men. Let me check quickly. It's chapter... It's chapter nine. Yes. The whole of... The whole of June, we're doing chapter nine. We're talking everything, money and men. Like that is my favorite topic. I don't know why. <laughs> money, and, you know, money and women is great. I talk about money and women, but when I talk about money and men, oh, don't know why. But then, yes. So we're gonna have a special book in June for men. For men, maybe we should. <laughs> no, that's not. That's not right. 
I'll, 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 I'll let that idea pass. <laughs> um, and then, Retabili, how we see? Oh, guys. Please share, guys. Please share. Please click on that share button. Ndo says, this is what I needed to hear today. Oh, I'm happy. I am happy you got what you needed to hear. I'm not sure what, but you got it, so that's great. Hey, um, Hilda, hello. Ah, uh, no, Sipo, thank you. Dipo, hello. I'll get in touch. Please do, girl. So if you also want a, a coaching session, a face-to-face -face coaching session, if you are close by, send an email, book one online. I've, I've sent, there's a link. You can book your own coaching session there. You can actually pay online. If you can't pay, just keep press skip and pay manually for a one-on-one -on -one coaching session it could be telephonically skype or any other way if you're outside the country i know the guys that are outside the country um you pay on paypal so use paypal to do your payment that makes it just quick and then you can have your session on skype so that works very well so a whole lot of you guys have been doing your paypal payments and then doing your skype sessions that works great other than that we also do messenger and whatsapp but whatsapp is not that great with me i don't know why but what's skype and messenger works better for the international guys so just go to that link and pay through the paypal um button if you are not in south africa other than that in south africa you are good Okay, so Zweli says I'm late. Hi, Zweli. Thank you for joining us. You will see the, the recording. So the recording will be available. Now, Lady Busi, I'm so late. Sorry, babes. You'll see the recording. Rufile, <laughs> I needed this today. Oh, thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you, Rufile. Oh, I miss you. Miss you. I'm happy you got what you needed. <laughs> no super says, my screen has been black the whole time, missing out on your freaking makeup. <laughs> Sorry, Nasipo, we don't know what your screen did to you. <laughs> Check the makeup on the recording. <laughs> Zueli says, I'm a father. I get for free, I guess. Ah. <laughs> Zueli, yes, yeah, I did. So you will get them. You will get the special. You will get the special. So maybe someone can buy it for you. You'll be like, you know, I know what you can buy me for Father's Day. <laughs> and then give them the link. <laughs> yeah, Zueli, do that. So Wangaga says, I'll be on the lookout for the special in June. Yes, do that, babes. Lucy says, you right now, I just feel like I'm drowning in debt. Don't know how to get out. Yeah, Lucy, you know what? It is not an issue. It's only a vibe. So don't even think like, I owe so much. When will I ever pay this off? Because that's the one thing that when, when I sit with someone, most of the time, that is what is blocking you from, because you're thinking this is a lot. Like, even if you help me, and then, and then some, most of the times also, uh, people think that I'll be like, sell your house, sell your car, throw this away, throw this away. No. No, you don't need that. You just need more money. <laughs> that's all you need. You don't need to remove anything from your life. Like, all that you have is yours. But then also, you're just probably thinking, this is going to be a lot. This is going to take me 20, 50 years, I don't know, to pay off. No, it won't. Once you let go of the vibe, I, I can tell you stories which just don't have time. I can tell you stories of how people were able to pay off debt that they thought would be there forever. Paid in such a short period of time because things just start to happen in a way that they never thought would happen. But things that have always been in their vicinity, nothing new. There is never nothing new. So, so Lucy, get on with the changing of your vibe. So send me an email, take the dead course, like, babes, there's so much. Like, just do something about your vibe. Okay, now let it, please post it on YouTube. Yes, babes, I'll do that. Really? Thank you. I'll check recording. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Sorry, girl. Sorry you are getting the, the recording. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please click on the share, 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 share button. Subscribe on the YouTube channel. And um, I'm going to be on radio tomorrow. I don't know what time. And I'm going, oh, yeah, guys, I'm going to be on, on, on Soweto TV this Monday. I was talking to Nimrod again on Soweto TV, 9 p.m. Monday. So tune in on to this to that i'll post all up all the other radio interviews that i'll be having so you can listen something extra thank you guys have a great 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 day bye, -bye.